Hello everybody, we are going to make a potato charm. It's sort of an orangish color. We are going to be using this orange and black. It's sort of a tannish orange. And you're going to need a hook and a rainbow loom. It's going to be facing this way. I have a chart right here. Um, you can find it um, with my channel. I'll be posting it. Some pictures of my um, my directions of how to do it. So it's going to be very easy to make. It's a little charm. Now. We are going to put double bands from here to here. Then we're going to push it down and we're going to go from the middle to the right. Double bands. like that and then you're going to push it down now you're going to do the same thing from the middle to the left though now here is the easy part we're going to put one orange band here Double, double rainbow loom colors, double rubber bands, and then you're going to put double again from here to here. So there should be two up here. It should look like this. Now you're going to grab your double black and you're going to put it right there. Now you're just going to add one more orange. Now we are going to do the right side, right here. We're going to put double orange. We're only going to be doing one right here sort of tricky with double bands now we are going to put black double bands it should look like this now we're going to put two more orange bands double the rubber bands oh, it's downloaded. It's done. should look it's done. like this and then we're going to add one more now we are going to go to the middle we're going to add five, not four. Yeah. Well, sort of six, if you might prefer. Going to go from here to here. Should look like that. Double the band, so two. Then you're going to grab another double bands and you're going to go from here to here like I said bands can be tricky should look like this then we're going to do one more Why is it raining? 
to look like that. Now we're going to do our last black. Double bands. Now we are going to do one more. It should look like this. Now we're going to grab another double band. We're going to push these top bands down. Going to take the double bands. And we are going to go and make, we're going to make a triangle. We only make a triangle on the first one. It should be pointing up like a real triangle, not an upside down one. Okay. Now, we're going to do a line right here. Double the bands. A line. Now we're going to double the bands again. Make sure we push these down. Should look like this. Should have a triangle and then one and then two. And we're going to do one more. Remember, double bands. And that is all of the rubber bands we are going to use. We're going to use one more for the end. So leave that in handy. Now we are going to start hooking. You're going to flip the loom around. It should look like this. You're going to go under this one. And you're going to take it. Oops. Sorry about that. Sometimes it does that. So don't worry if it does it with yours. You can fix it. Remember, it's a triangle. Now let's start again. Come to this side. I forgot. You're going to go to your right side, you're going to go under, take the bottom two, hook it around, and hook it to the next one. Looks like that. Okay? Now we're going to do that with the other side on the left, and we're going to do the same thing. It should look like this. Now we're going to go to the middle. Well, first we have to pop this one behind it. Then we can do this one. The middle is the hardest part. Let's try again. I'm gonna go to the middle, hook it, and go around. It should look like a butterfly. If it doesn't, you might want to go back and see the video over again. Now we're just gonna start hooking over and it'll look like a raindrop. A teardrop is right there. And then we made another teardrop with the black. Going under, taking the bottom one, going over, hooking it to the next one. We did that on the right side. Now, we are going to do the left side. Nice 
same thing, make sure you take both of the bands. So they should both look like they have teardrops. I sort of like it looks like maybe a vine when it's done, if you face it this way. It looks it looks sort of like a person or a corn chalk. So it should look like this, and then you can flip back the room around. And we're going to do the last row in the middle is the easiest. We're going to go under, grab that black one, and go over it. If you don't have black, use a familiar color. So I'm saying black because I'm using black. Now we're just going to do the same thing that we did on the sides, and now we're going to do it in the middle. Here is a little tricky. We're going to take this side. You're going to go under all the rubber bands. You're going to take the bottom rubber band and we're going to hook it to the middle. It should look like a side teardrop. It should look like it's going in your teardrop. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. I know since there's so many rubber bands right here in the middle one, we're going to have to make sure that when we take the bottom two, that we do not pop it. Go all the way down under all the rubber bands, grab the bottom two, and hook it right there. And now, that one that we saved, we're going to use it right now. You're going to go in, you're going to put the rubber band on the hook, going around, and going in, there should be two loops, you're going to take the back one, go in front of it, make sure it's tight, and you can start taking it off. When it is done, it will look like this. Gonna start from the top yeah. and go through. This one, you're gonna use your hook okay. and you're gonna take it and pop it off. Your hook might get stuck, but make sure that you don't undo any of the rubber bands. Now, we're just gonna start from the ends like I taught you in all the other videos with the creeper. You're gonna pop this side off, leave these two open, do the same thing with the other side. And then you leave these two open. Then we're going to do the middle. Leave these. This one, we're going to leave one open. And now we can grab our hook, go under, take it, pop it off. Go under, take it, pop it off. And when you pop off this middle one, these two side ones, you're going to take over and take over. And voila, last one. And now you have your own potato. Bye, see you next time.